Hi everyone, I'm sitting on the ramp with a little bit of time to kill and I wanted to show a, a pre-flight item on the 500 series citations that almost everybody new to these airplanes gets a little bit confused on because uh, at a sim center without hands-on access to the airplane, uh, the diagram of the system is talked about, but it's really hard to imagine how this is um, put into place in, in the actual airplane. And uh, that is the uh, brake fluid level and the uh, power brake accumulator gauges here in the nose. And uh, what these are telling you on pre-flight, uh, what's a normal indication and uh, what would be normal under various circumstances. Uh, I want to show what pilots should be looking for. Okay, so as I zoom in here on the brake fluid reservoir, uh, this has a couple sight gauges here that uh, give indications for where the brake fluid level is. Uh, and it's two sight gauges for one reservoir. So really all we're looking at here is uh, the fluid level in the reservoir measured at two different points. So uh, it's got a little float in here, a sort of a piece of cork, a, a dark little ball that floats in the fluid. And uh, right now it's indicating the fluid is basically topped off. The, the bottom indicator is floating down here and the top indicator is floating up here, meaning that the brake fluid is about as full as it can get. Now, looking down here at the power brake accumulator charge indication, this is measuring the pressure of the power brake accumulator, um, the uh, nitrogen pressure. So if you uh, remember from the diagram, uh, the accumulator is uh, it's just a, oh, like a compartment, I guess you could say, or a, it's a device that's split in half using a, di a diaphragm and on half of the uh, compartment, there's nitrogen, like a gas, and on the other half, uh, it's filled up with hydraulic fluid, or I should say brake fluid, um, when the, uh, when the uh, system is pressurized. So the purpose of this accumulator is uh, so it can store energy. The uh, brake fluid uh, hydraulic pump can pump fluid into the uh, the fluid side and compress the nitrogen and it uh, basically stores that pressure in there so that when the pilot applies brakes the power brakes are always available it's it's uh you don't have to have the hydraulic pump running on the brakes to actually get brake pressure um so on pre-flight when we see that it's at the pre-charge level what we're really seeing here is that there's no puncture in the system there's no leak in the system that has allowed that nitrogen to completely leak out. Um, so it doesn't have to be a very high indication, but we just need to see that the needle is off of the stop. It, it, uh, it has a, a position labeled pre-charge. It could even be a little bit below pre-charge as long as it's not flat and showing that there's no pressure at all. So this is the state of the system when we're pre-flighting after the airplane has sat for a while. And uh, when we apply power to the airplane, something is gonna happen. The, there's a pressure sensor that when the electrical master is turned on, that pressure sensor senses that the accumulator does not have enough pressure in it, that the brakes need to, uh, the power brake accumulator needs to be charged up. That sensor will send the signal to the uh, brake fluid hydraulic pump to pump fluid out of the reservoir into the accumulator. And we will see that uh, the fluid level in the brake fluid reservoir is going to decrease and the pressure in the accumulator is going to increase. And uh, then of course, uh, over time, that pressure will bleed off. It might take 10 or 15 or 20 minutes for that pressure to leak out. And uh, when the, the system senses low pressure, it will power up that pump again, pump fluid out of the reservoir back into the accumulator and recharge the accumulator. I'll have the pilot that I'm working with turn the system on in a moment. And uh, what you'll see as uh, the system is turned on is this float up here at the top is going to go down and, and stop floating because fluid is drawn out of the system, out of the reservoir. 
the bottom float should remain floating because we don't want to use all the fluid. There needs to be a base level of fluid there that is enough to keep the bottom indication always floating. And you'll see the needle here go up and show that the accumulator is pressurized. All right, go ahead and turn the master on. You hear that pump running? We see the uh, accumulator charging up down here. That whining sound is the pump running, charging it up. When it senses enough pressure, it turns the pump off. And now we have the accumulator ready to apply brakes. And uh, this is actually a, a really full reservoir. It came down just a little bit below full. Um, but uh, even the, the top indication shows mostly full still. A lot of times it's, it's pretty normal in these citations to have the top indicator show uh, not floating any longer and only the bottom indicator floating. Um, so really that's the, the main check to look for uh, if the plane has been flying recently is it's okay to have the top reservoir uh, showing empty or the, the top portion of the reservoir empty and the bottom portion should, should still be full. Um, but you should never have a circumstance where the bottom portion is uh, out of fluid. It, it, there always needs to be at least enough fluid to keep that bottom indication uh, floating.